بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم Hello everyone, how are you all? I hope all of you are fine. I am your science teacher. Today's lecture number 3 is taken from unit number 1, the human body and we are going to discuss two topics today. Number 1, concept check and number 2, the systems of the body. They are on page 4, 5 and 6 of your book. First open your books on page 4. This is page 4 of your book. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the sense organs and their functions. Today, I want to confirm whether your concept or idea about the sense organs is correct or not. In concept check, you are going to tell me which sense organ or organs would be involved in sensing these changes. As soon as I ask the question, you are going to give me the answer. No cheating, okay? Number one. While you are sleeping, there is a sudden change in the temperature. Which sense organ are you using? Is it the nose? No. Are they eyes? No. Okay, the correct answer is skin. Why skin? Because we know that skin is the sense organ which helps us to feel heat and cold, etc. Question number two. While searching in a bag for a book, which sense organ is used? The correct answer is eyes. Why eyes? Because with the help of the eyes, we can see things around us. Second part of the statement, a pin pricks your finger. Which sense organ is used? The answer is skin. Why skin? Because skin also detects pain. Number three, while you are in your bedroom, someone comes through the front door of the house. Two sense organs are involved in sensing this change. Can you guess? Yes, your answer is correct. Eyes and ears. Very good students, all of your answers are correct. All of you are genius. Now I am going to give you an activity. You should all do it by yourself at home. Try to write a sentence with, while keeping your eyes closed and covered with your other hand. What was the effect on your writing? In short, you are going to write a sentence with your eyes closed. The second topic of the lecture is the systems of the body. They are on page 5 and 6 of your book. First, we will do the reading. The systems of the body. The organs and other parts of the body form different systems. Skeletal system. The human body has a framework of bones called the skeletal system. The bones of the body make up the skeleton. The bones give the body a strong framework. They support the body and protect the parts inside. The muscular system. The muscles make up the muscular system. This system works closely with the skeletal system and forms a part of the body's framework. Muscles allow us to move different parts of the body. The digestive system. The stomach and the channels through which food passes are called the digestive system. Starting from the mouth, this system includes the stomach, the liver and the channels which food passes through. First of all, we should learn the definition of the word system. System is a group of organs that work together to perform a job or functions. The organs are different but they perform one specific job or function. System number one, the skeletal system. This is the picture of the skeletal system and you can guess that it is composed of the bones. What is a skeletal system? It forms the framework of bones. In the previous class, you have learned that there are 206 bones in the adults and 300 bones in infants. 
all these bones collectively form the skeleton all these bones look at the bones 206 they collectively form the skeleton what is the function of skeletal system number one they support the body and number two it protects the parts inside can you guess any parts of your body that are protected by the bones okay i will help you what's over there there is a brain inside the skull so skull is the bone bony structure or the bone which protects the brain what's over here it's the heart the heart is protected by the rib cage in the rib cage there is another organ also that are the lungs which are protected by these rib cage now comes the muscular system the muscular system is composed of all the muscles present in your body can you see the muscles of your body look at this all the flesh of your body they are the muscles of your body the muscles of your body cannot work alone they are connected with the bones and both the muscular and the skeletal system they work closely and they help us in the movement of your body like standing sitting walking jumping running etc now comes a very important system of your body the digestive system it includes the following organs like the stomach the liver and the channels channels means the esophagus the food pipe and the large large intestine and the small intestine all these channels and the this one is the stomach and this one is the liver they all form the digestive system now the question is what is the function of digestive system they help to break down the food so that it can reach each and every part of your body students that's all for today stay home stay safe take care thank you for watching